question is, should I have a good trailer for the game before making a Steam page for it? And yes. my question back to you is, why would you make a place for people to go if they're, you're, they're not going to show them anything? Right? You should absolutely have a good trailer. And you should absolutely find somebody of the appropriate skill level that you can afford to create said trailer. I, I've seen yes. trailers on Steam, and then it has like the whatever logo of the the cheap video capture program, whatever, in the trailer. And that's not very appealing. It's not appealing, but I mean, if, it, if it's effective, it's effective. Right. You know, but you, videos are very much that foot in the door thing now with publishers. You know, they want to see a, a video to see if it looks appealing. Then they want to look at a pitch deck or they want to look at a pitch deck that has a video in it. And then they want to play it. So, yes, you should always, whenever you're doing that outward facing promotion of the game, you always need to have your best possible foot forward. And so it's one thing on, on, on social media and like Screenshot Saturday or Wishlist Wednesday or whatever the fuck Tuesday we're doing. I don't know, Taco Tuesday. Uh -huh. it, it's a, you can have earlier stage or rougher look at stuff there because you can preface it's like, hey, look, this is very early, but this is what we're working on. But when you go to that step of having an actual Honest to God Steam page uh, or itch page or whatever page, you want your best looking stuff there because where people will easily forgive you on social media if it's not completely polished and, and gorgeous looking, they ain't gonna forgive you much on Steam. Right. Lucky says, what I mean is, should I use the gameplay footage I have or wait? and create a much better trailer. I would say for Steam, right? When people go to Steam and they look at videos, they don't want to look at a trailer. They want to see gameplay. At least yes. I know I do. I will go through, bam, the first thing I do is, how's this play? And then I look at the Steam video. And if it's a bunch of not gameplay stuff, I might just pass that game, mm -hmm. right? So they want to see gameplay. Calyx, I just discovered Turn-Based Thursdays yesterday, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, that, that's just one of the, our basic trailer tips. Start with the gameplay. You know, what is it? Facebook says that we've had an engagement if somebody watches six seconds of a video. That's how long you have to capture that person's interest. And if you spend the first five seconds of that popping a bunch of, you know, developer logos, logos and all that sort of shit up there, no. Just Dive immediately into jump gameplay. into gameplay. Don't put put logos later. Just like bam or gameplay. overlay it. You know, the, look at so some of the best examples of eye catching and quick to suck you in videos are on like the Apple App Store. You know, they have very quick videos on there, and then they overlay the features that they are showing in the gameplay, and that is extremely effective. But because that, that's yeah. what people think about when you are browsing through Steam to for games, what you are doing, right? And then because that's what people do, they look at it, they go to the game page. The first thing they do is look at the video, they don't read the description or the lore or any of that stuff. Yes, people care about that, but they want to see the gameplay and then they'll watch it for like 10 seconds, and that's really it. That's the deciding factor right there. 